Hey, welcome back to my channel. Just want to go through how to replace a VTX. You might have a quad, you don't really know how to replace the VTX. It might be bad, it might not be performing. In my case, this is my race drone. My VTX that I have in here was not performing. It was doing great at like 100 milliwatt and up, but at the 25 milliwatt setting, it was only putting out 4.3 and then that would degrade as it would get hot so two laps in I would start to completely lose video and you know, basically seeing someone else's OSD is not good when you're ripping around the track so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this VTX but I wanted to kinda of go through some general rules about you know pretty much all VTX's um, so we have here this is a uh, out of the I think this is out of the IS 100 SpedX this VTX when it came out gave so many people trouble I finally figured it out but by then it was too late I already replaced it so basically you have your camera you know going to your VTX if you're powering it that way and all VTX's are going to have power coming in so you're gonna have 5 volt or battery voltage and you're gonna have a ground and then the only other wiring you may have out is smart audio so so you're gonna have power ground smart audio and then you're gonna have your camera powering out other VTX's like this is the let's see if I can get a little shot in here this is my two and a half inch bolt I've done a couple things to it but I raced this one too this this thing is really fast for a two and a half inch quad but I have the uh, I think it's the F FX3 ultimate AKK and it, it does a great job I haven't had any issues with with this one I actually have this in a couple other things uh, but the same scenario with this one, you're going to have, you know, your power, your positive, your negative, and your smart audio. Um, so they're, they're all kind of, I mean, if you get the idea, they're all pretty close to being the same. Uh, this one I built, I don't know if you want to, I wouldn't say it's the first toothpick, but it's just a, a, an all-out modified, I called it a feather trainer. Because it's super light and it's throwing 66 millimeter props. This thing moves pretty fast for a, for a brushed quad. Uh, but this one has a VTX in it, and it's just a tiny little, tiny little uh, VTX. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this came out about three and a half, four years ago. So again, you just have the power in which in this one case it's 5 volts you have your ground and then that smart audio which of course I don't have smart audio on this but just a general lowdown about every VTX you find is gonna have pretty much the same features so not to drag that on more than I needed to apologize but if you don't know you don't know so I just got this I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say something real quick I emailed uh, Race Day Quads. That's where I bought this uh, VTX that's in here. And I emailed them. I gave them a bunch of information, sent them a photo, the whole kind of lowdown. I'm not kidding you. In like an hour after I emailed them, they already had a order number generated. And then was, by the end of the day, which was only a few hours later, they had a label printed. And just in a couple days, I received this. I mean, I, I, I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised. I've dealt with other companies that have taken a long time and they wanted to, wanted to put me through it. So this is the AKK Race VTX, okay? So basically, this is what we're looking at. So you have your power going in. And if you notice here, that's 5 volt in. Okay, let me just show you the... Get a little close up here. 
So when you're dealing with this VTX, and like a lot of other ones, this is 5 volt in. Okay? So you cannot run battery voltage to this. You have to run it off a of 5 volt back. And then you have your ground, and then you can do 5 volt out and ground. And that's video in to your camera. So these three here would power your camera. Basically power your camera and receive in the information from your camera. Okay, I'm not using, uh, in this build, I'm not using uh, this VTX to power my camera. I'm actually using a, a 10 volt Beck off of the T-Motor 55 Amp Pro 2 ESC. So in this case, I'm just going to unsolder those two. And then of course I have the, uh, the TBS Smart Audio line run into my flight controller. Okay, so I'm just going to replace this VTX and kind of go through a, a couple little things. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this off to the side here. And then I'm going to raise this up so you can get a close-up detailed look at what I'm doing here. Alright, so what I'm going to do with the new one, before I go through tearing my old one out and the whole process, all that, I'm going to check continuity on this to make sure there's no shorts and then I'm also going to power it up to make sure that it doesn't release that magic smoke that we like. I cannot urge enough before you power up a VTX you need to make sure that you have an antenna connected to it. Last thing I want to do is take out that VTX and then end up having a bunch of issues. Okay so basically you don't want that sound while you're going through this. Just going to unwind the wires here so they're not touching. So basically, there's no continuity going between the battery and the ground. So that's good. And then we'll check the other side just for the giggles. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be just fine. Okay, so no continuity there. If you if you hear that, you're gonna you're gonna pretty much just send it back without soldering anything yet okay all right the next step for me is to just to remove these these two wires that I'm not going to use I'm not going to power my camera from this VTX all right so I have a 5 volt power supply going to the VTX you can see that it's lit up, no issues. Turn the VTX off and we'll go ahead and get that put into the quad. So basically we're gonna be running the smart audio and that's what controls the settings. In your, you can see in your OSD or your goggles, you can change your settings in that. And this is the video in, so this is the, the line that comes into the VTX from the camera and of course your ground and your 5 volt in okay now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these wires because I already have the wires in my quadcopter I'll just set it back up I just want to mention after you desolder these wires you're gonna to want to go back and put a, just a fresh dab of solder on each one that you're gonna use um, this is the solder that I like to use. It's a 0.3. It's very, very tiny and it does have a flux core. However, I like to put some flux on each thing before I solder everything up. And then as far as adhering this, I, I use this product from, this is a Gorilla. It's called Tough and Clear, 15 pound comes in a roll like so and you can see it's kind of it's just a real sticky and it's silicone so it can get really hot and it doesn't lose its stick capabilities I like using this better than a lot of other ones that I found like 3M some of the other ones because you can actually grab the corner of that let's see if I can show you here you can grab the corner of this and it's and it stretches out and as you pull that away, you can remove it by stretching it out. 
and it doesn't rip the components off your board. So it can handle a ton of heat. It stays sticky like crazy for as long as you don't touch it with your fingers. And then when you want to remove it, you can just peel it back and it, or you know stretch it out, and it doesn't tear off the little caps and stuff on your components. So now I'm just going to remove the 5 volt, the ground, my video in, and my smart audio. Um, and then just attach the new board. Remove our uh, antenna, and now we can take out the Nice and clean. Not a bunch of residue left behind. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Let me show you this before I do it. <laughs> you just pull that and it just it just comes right off. So you can it, without ripping all your components off. It's just real stretchy. But that stuff is still just as sticky as can be. I really like that stuff. Okay, so we've put that bad VTX off to the side, and I'll go ahead and prep the back of this one. All right, we got the new one placed in, all sticky in. That ain't going anywhere. So we'll go ahead and solder in the new wires here. I like the I like to solder in the ground first. If you solder in all the other wires, the ground the ground likes to take the heat away quicker. So it's a little funny. All right, so that's it. So I hope this uh, will help somebody out there, you know, realize that replacing your VTX, if you've never done it before, can be a little maybe scary, but hopefully this video will help you and, and you'll be able to get that done. If you have any questions or comments about anything you've seen here, please leave a comment. I appreciate you subscribing and hope to see you in the next one. So thanks for your time and checking out my channel. And if you have a VTX replacement issue, there you go. I think you can do it too. 